Hello everybody, and welcome back to I Play Skyrim. I apologize if you can hear some whirring in the background, that is my laptop rendering the previous episode of I Play Skyrim. So this is, well, episode 3, and at the end of the last episode, we just arrived at Solitude um, from Dawnstar. So, how much money do we have? Uh, 339, that's not too bad. And we could be doing worse. Uh, and that's because we, well, we mined absolutely everything we could find. I don't think I've ever been around here. Just because there's nothing around there to have. I don't want to join the, the, to join the Legion. The fucking Solitude Legion sucks. We want to, um, join no one. Maybe the Stormcloaks, perhaps. Probably not. I've done, uh, I don't know. I've done their quests quite a few times and they're alright, but I mean, it might be nice to... Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh, my auto focusing on my bloody horn. What's going on? Someone. No one wants to tell me what's going on. Front row seats. No, that that is a fair point. Don't don't boo him, you little slut. Um, well, I didn't say that. Don't call women sluts; they don't like it. Can I search his? Oh, he's he's dead. But did he actually have anything on him? An amulet of Talos. I'm just gonna. Take that without anyone knowing. And brilliant. Um oh wait, when did I when did I start recording? Okay. It's probably about half past. Um anyway, let's go see what we can is there a jewellery person here? No, this is all food what have I actually what do I own? Um, I can sell that at the, um, what's it called? I can sell these, um, those I could also sell, and anything else? Stuff of Firebolt, maybe. Let's favorite that and see what equipping overhaul looks like. No, equipping overhaul doesn't like that. Okay. Need something? Brilliant. All right, let's go to, not bits and pieces, the Radiant Raiment. And they're going to tell me to put on some of their finest clothes, and I'm going to say okay, and then I'm going to go to the Jarl, and then they will sell some stuff to me. But um, yeah, first of all, oh, let me just drop ev breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, right. really. Right, Dovsh gift us. That's not a very good deal, but I mean, it's fine. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. I mean, have you had a bad day? Let's try that again. Have you had a bad day? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Do you get a lot of business like that? Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. I've heard there are rumors of war down near Helgen. You'd have better luck with the innkeeper. He's the one who makes his living on spreading rumours. Brilliant. Thanks for telling me those things with your words. But you're not going to give me free clothes, but I think... Was it Tari Terry? I don't know, Harry Terry. Sure, let's go for that. I think she is, if I speak to her. Wherever she may be. Probably in the bar. Um, 
Everything's in order. Okay, good. Hey, Jar One. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. You're a long way from home, then. I, but I'll be here in solitude for longer still. Fiata's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. I wanted to learn. And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm, that is nearly white with... What do you call it? Oh, uh, yeah. Snow. And far to the west lies a ruin, Volskyg. Inside there's said to be a wall, black as night, and it speaks in the ancient dragon tongue. There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. I found it all. I'm not going to do your quests yet because you suck and no one likes you. Ah, kids. Um. Take my advice. Never gamble. Damn, Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. You're in debt to Ern uh, Ernskar. Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. What if I talk to Ernska? He's a stubborn oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. Alright, right, um, I hope you guys can hear all of the characters and everything, because I can't hear them very well. But I haven't changed the sound quality since the last episode, and it was fine in that. Maybe it's just because my um actual computer's volume is turned down. I don't know. But let's go. Actually, no, we don't deserve to be by the Blue Palace. Um, yeah, we're not. What level are we? Three. Um, what have we leveled up? We've got smithing, so we can do iron. Uh, we've got two hundred. We've leveled up, and what else did we do? Oh, did we do two, two ah, did we do 200 twice? I think we did. Um, no we didn't. Wait, what's, oh wait, yeah, because you got, yeah, you got one point. So it's, the amount of points you spent is your level minus one. N minus one. Yay for, whatever that was, sequences. Um, right. yay maths. Right, so let's um, see if I can find somewhere to sell some other stuff. Um, hey, I do look tough. I'm wait, hold on, just do I not look tough? God damn it, kids don't know what they're on about. Um, hey. There's no end to the needs of the Imperials, but what can I help you with? What have you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. Okay, let's see what you have in armor. See if I can get a some better boots, maybe steel cuff boots. They're uh, very expensive. Gauntlets. No, actually, oh, I could buy some. Fuck you. Return and use your forge. And I'm going to see what I can make out of steel. Um. So at the moment, obviously, I can make nothing. There's our heavy armor. Um, there's a heavy armor. Huh, that's heavy armor. That's heavy armor, okay. Right, let's make a... Steel Nordic Gordon gauntlets, which, two leather strips, two steel ingots, and an iron ingot. Um, where are you? Here you are. What have you got for sale? So, what, two leather strips. Um, please say you have steel in ingots. I don't think you do. Shit. Um, iron you do have though, so uh, we only need one iron, didn't we? Um, hmm. Can I sell anything to you? An iron dagger. 
And I'm gonna keep that in case I ever drop my other weapon. And let's see if there is gonna be what's here. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Fletcher. Um yeah, I can't ever remember being in here before. Hey, how you doing? Fit harder. The gold that I could Hello steal. and welcome. True. I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. Um, what have you got for sale, I guess? Take a look. Engine old bow, hunting bow, hunting bow, hunting bow, hunting bow, hunting bow, imperial bow. Arrows, war axe, steel dagger, nothing that's ever going to be useful Perhaps to me. I'll be seeing more of you. Incredible. Um, yeah, let's... I can saw through the wall there. Let's open this door. Anything interesting? Just quickly steal from his chest. No, let's not actually, because those are terrible things. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks for letting me look around your home. Really helpful. Now, let's go to... Um, I don't know. Uh... Leather strip, sign ingots. If only we there were steel ingots somewhere. Right, there were wolves on the road up north. On the road up to the north. Um, yeah, I just came from there, and there are definitely wolves there. So, I found the bone. Who found the bone? You help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Please take pity on an old madman. Yeah, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. All right then. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be. Um, I can't remember what I said in the last episode. So, if I've already said it, I apologize. But I am going to be playing through as if my character is me. So, um. Like when I do things, I will do them as I would do in real life. Um, and so I've got my voice as well. Hey, Sema. Beren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Who's Beren? That's not. I want, who's Beren? Beren's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays. What with him filling orders for the army. He's literally like. Right up the road. Anyway, what have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. What is what have I got for sale? Um, garnets. No, because you are fucking pathetic. Um, is there anything in here that I would have any interest in buying at all? Um, let's see. You wouldn't happen to have steel? No. There's a skull. Why? Why would I want to buy a skull off of you? Strange woman. Is that? Um. And, uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, let's go back outside and never speak to that woman ever again. Um. She has 11 gold. What is even the point? Uh, Angeline's aromatics. No, thank you. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. He'll be ready. Um, okay. Alright. Let's go back up to Skyrim. And think about where we're going to go next. Um, we probably have like five minutes left of this episode. So, that was very not exciting at all. Where did we come from? We came from over here. We came over this way and we went up here I think, yeah, okay, so we curled around like that we're now here, I don't want to go to Morthel because as you saw in episode 2 it's the second oh, most horrible place um, so I say we get a carriage down to Whiterun I mean, yeah, I'll do that and it's raining, lovely, let's try and run to get out of this rain 
and stuff. Um, yeah, hey, look. Khajiit, hey. Khajiit welcomes you. And also your coin. Uh, no thank you. Teach me clock breaking. Do you sell me stuff? Nope. Oh, oh, you look like you. Madran, you look like you sell me stuff. How may I serve you? What have you got for sale? Take a look. More to the point. What have I got for sale? Yay. Garnet. Here, have them. I've got iron ore as well. I could. Alright, hold on. That's. I can sell it for seven at uh, Iron Brick Mine. Alright. Um. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm not going to sell that to you. Um, let's buy steel. Nope, no steel. Brilliant. There's going to be some steel at White Run. Uh, let's jump this fence. Nailed it. Okay. Hey, anyway, look, it stopped raining. And look, the sky is perfectly clear. So let's talk to you about going to White Run. Yeah, I'd like a ride, please. Um, White Run. Brilliant! Thank you for being so cheap. It's quite funny how um, it doesn't actually give them enough time to finish their their speech. Before it goes onto the loading screen. Oh, it's nice and dark. Brilliant. Um, Freaking amazing. Anyway, we're at Wyron. Oh, that is such a such a beautiful night sky, isn't it? Flickering mountains off in the distance. Definitely not caused by me modding badly. No. Look at that. Oh, look at that sky though. Isn't that just so beautiful? I'm probably going to get used to that in like five minutes. So, yeah, just make the most of it while I can. That's what I'm going to do. And all those stars in the sky as well. You're not limited by light pollution. Um, oh, this is going to be not law friendly if they speak to me. Some advice, friend. I, ooh, actually, it's doing all right. I mean, um, cause, uh, yeah, usually they'd stop you and ask, um, must have more swords for the um, that's not my conversation. Um, yeah, usually they'd stop you and ask, that, or tell you that, um, white runs off limits. So this is all actually, Adrian is out. Do you reckon she's still running the store? Oh, we'll have to sleep. Some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. What can you tell me about White Run? Plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Don't Speak with the leader of the companions. The I will do that. Let's set that as a quest. Um, I set everything as a quest. Yay! Um, brilliant. So, going to do the companions. That's what we're doing now. Jump the river. So ninja. That just looks so majestic. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Here we go. Um, I don't know. I mean, that hid my overlay for fraps. I'm not entirely sure. Ref uh, no. It's still recording, it's good. Yeah, I just took a second screenshot for no reason. Oh, it's a fight. Um, I'm gonna brill. How's it going? Good fight, 
Okay. Yeah, it is. He's just got a hate skill. What is it? Can I join the companions? You have what it takes. I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlock. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. I hope he is in a generous mood. Take my lead. Have fun watching the fight. Um. So, yeah. Um. Joining the companions. Let's join up. And oh god, Jesus Christ! These shadows just like scare the life out. Like, look at that. There is no. Where is that shadow even coming from? Above me, of course. It's such a massive shadow. Okay, hey, Codlack, how's it going? I would like to join the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. Yeah, you should be considering accepting him, me. Last I him, I almost said. You should be considering accepting him. Talking about myself in third person. Second person? Apologies. Second, third? I don't know. A person that isn't fast. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I... Um... Not here. Out, out in the yard, yard. okay. Right, so, um, yeah, I think that's all I really have time for today. So, as I will see Vilkas out in the yard, I will also see you out in the yard, Raiders. If you've forgotten, that's what, that's what I call you guys. When I say you guys, I mean the people who watch our videos. So, this is Dovsh, um, we hope you have fun until the next episode, which will be episode 4. Anyway, I have been Sky, and I will see you all next time. Good day.